Hi guys, I'm here to talk to you about dreams into reality, never to give up. And I'm just gonna talk to you briefly about my story on how I got from, from being in Chicago to being in Boston to being here in New York. Uh, it's been a fabulous ride. It's been a crazy one, but it's been a fabulous ride. I'm blessed. I've experienced so much and I'm thanking God for it. And I'm glad that I have my faith because you should always have with you and always have faith in everything you do. That's the biggest thing. I definitely always had a dream and a vision to move to New York because I love New York. I love the the diversity, the fast paced living, the the culture here. It was just the atmosphere was just it's just so live. Everything is just so live, and I wanted to you know to experience it. I've been visiting New York since 2008. I would always come and visit. Um, visit friends or just come here for a vacation about it I love like it's a great experience to go to a place where you feel so strongly about um, decided that I was gonna make a plan to move here after I finished with the university I went away to school I was about three three or four four hours away from home and I was thinking, okay, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna get my education, finish and get my diploma. Uh, being away at school is preparing me for when I move to New York. And I, that's how my mentality was. I met new people. I went through challenges in school. I had some breakdowns. Uh, it was just all around of what I went through to school is what I went through here, but being here has been 10 times greater than what that was. Uh, I love the experience being at school because, I, like I said, it prepared me for being here. As I finished school, I began to look for work. I, it was so difficult looking for work. I turned to working out a lot so that's why I'm into fitness it helped me change my mentality but then things started to take a hold of me because I couldn't find a job I find just that particular job that would hold me down and I said this is not working uh, what's going on here you know then I finally got a job, I started working, but then I started thinking to myself, this is not, this is not what I really want. This is temporary because I have a bigger vision, but then I set that vision back and started living just where I was and became comfortable. And I was like, this is not me, this is not the type of girl. After the job that I was doing finished up, I was like, okay, I got to find another one. I got to get back on my feet. I got back on my feet, had another job. But every day at that job, I looked out the, throughout the window and I was like, this is not for me. I, this is not where I'm going to be at. I was so good at every job that I was at. I just felt like this wasn't where I was supposed to be. So I decided, like, I'm going to still to whatever it takes to get myself to New York. And I kept telling people around me, you know, when you believe in something so strong, you start, once you speak things into existence, it starts to manifest. So I would tell my friends, no, I'm the, this is temporary. I'm moving to New York. This is temporary. I'm moving to New York. This is temporary. You know where I'm moving to. They're like, we know, New York. And I was like, thank you. Uh, I decided that you know, I was going to write in my notepad by July of 2013, I was going to be living in New York. I decided to talk to my friend about moving to Boston. So around 2012, this is around when Sandy hit. I, I still, I didn't know that Sandy was going to hit. So 
prior to when Sandy hit, I had an interview in New York and I was staying in Boston with my friend and I told him that this is, you know, I'm going to stay here. This is going to work out and everything like that. But it wasn't the right time because when Sandy hit, it hit hard and I was, you know, I was devastated, but I was also saddened about how the city looked when I got there you know, in shock that this was happening to a city like this and everybody was panicking and I felt like, okay, this is not the right time. Maybe let me go back to Boston and figure out something. I ended up going back home because it didn't work out. Uh, and I was like, maybe I should try this again, but have a better plan. And I did. I saved up so much on the job that I was doing and um, I got things together and I and I moved July 3rd of 2013 to going to Boston and changing my route like step out of my comfort zone and take that leap of faith knowing that there could be some ups and there could be some downs and I'm just taking that that leap like I'm going for it so uh, I finally moved out to Boston Massachusetts I get there and it was nothing that I ever expected I thought I was going to be living in a good living condition that, that my accommodations was gonna be good it wasn't uh, that friend lied to me and told me that it was going to be you know okay that don't worry these are just water bugs if New Yorkers know what water bugs Chicago Chicago don't sugarcoat what water bugs is water bugs is roaches and we don't do well with roaches okay that's not that's a no-no that's a no-no in my book okay water bugs are not my cup of tea water bugs are roaches and I don't deal with roaches I've only dealt with roaches when I was younger I don't have time to deal with them when I'm older <laughs> I come from the suburbs people might think I'm bougie never really stayed in that particular apartment he says he stayed at his girlfriend's or he stayed at another friend's house that the room was just for me let me tell you I once I got there I stayed up every night till four in the morning and then slept for like three to four, three to four hours when the light the you know the sun would come out and beam through the room where the roaches would not come close to me I was <laughs> like on a stakeout with my bug spray trying to spray them away from me on the air mattress that I was on it wasn't easy um, I was taking showers with roaches uh, in the neighborhood I was in it was like people looked at me funny they gave me looks I just was watching my back 24 7 I would always go to the local library and bring my laptop to figure out where I was gonna go next um, during that time I did make an effort to reach out to a friend to let him know that you know what, what my current situation was and if he can help me out in some type of way he lived in Jersey it was a friend of me and my best friend um, he told me that his best friend's mother was a real estate agent and that she rents rooms so you could definitely uh, you know give her a call and everything um, I did give her a call she took a chance with me um i came to see the room the place was beautiful just beautiful i didn't have roommates that i didn't know but um it was anything to get me out of boston uh, it was so hard going back when i went to jersey to come back to boston knowing that you know this is another another night that I had to sleep here and endure this I told my friend that lived in Boston that I was gonna move with my uncle I told a lie 
Um, but oh well, I, I just told him that I was going to be living with my uh, uncle and to figure out things because I couldn't deal with the living situation at all. Um, but as I was leaving Boston to go to, to Jersey, I get a phone call from a company I used to work with and they would like me to start um, to start the very next day. But I just felt like it wasn't right that I should still get on this bus. And I thought I was making a bad move, but I wasn't because I felt that deep inside of me, I was going to make it. I was going to take this leap of faith and definitely change who I was and change um, my my path. Um, I had so much faith in myself, even though I was going to do the things that I was going and get to Jersey. <laughs> and uh, I'm in this new beautiful place. I have my own room. Um, and uh, it was hard. Like I don't want to cry, but I, during the time I was in Boston, it was very hard. I got to tell you, it was very hard for me. Uh, reaching to Jersey was hard because I was ex I was finally seeing that things are were coming together slowly but surely. I didn't have a job yet, but I was reaching out to uh, staffing agencies so that I can get something quick because I had good enough experience. Actually, around the time of my birthday, so <laughs> it was funny. Give a give the lady a call back that I would like to come out there. I just moved to Jersey, and. Um, can I see you this, you know, this, can I come in and fill out an application, and yada, yada, all that stuff, and I did. Uh, I, I have to tell you, I was nervous during the interview. I, She was asking me, are you okay? Are you okay to do this? Because we don't need anybody that's nervous. And I felt, I was like, geez, well, okay, I guess I don't got this. And I started to doubt myself, however, uh, she was like, you know, we'll keep in contact. I think we might have something for you and uh, We'll stay in touch. I said, oh, okay. Well, this is it <laughs> Leave the office and I see H&M and I was like, oh, whatever. It's my birthday weekend. I'm just gonna go shopping um, I'm in H&M and I get a phone call from the lady I just interviewed with saying that they have a position for me and they would like for me to start on Monday. And when I tell you I bawled like a baby in the Finney room, I bawled like a baby, but I had to thank God first. I had to thank him for the opportunity, for setting a vision in me uh thank him for my travels my good health i had to thank him for everything because i didn't think i knew i had faith that this was going to happen but when it, it hits you hard when it actually happens you know so knowing that i had a job lined up on monday and um I was going to be working and I have a place to stay. Everything happened within that week of my birthday. Within my week, that week I had an, uh, living a new living place. I have a, a job. I have money. Uh, you know, I had a bed. I was, every everything was coming together. And um, it was, it was a something amazing something amazing to me because I really stepped out of my comfort zone and took a chance in every little thing that I did now living in Jersey beautiful it was, place it wasn't my ideal place but it was a beautiful place I was already like 35 45 minutes away from the city anyways what am I complaining about I was living in Jersey for quite a, a few months before I moved to Brooklyn which I absolutely love. <laughs> I have to tell you, once you have a vision, don't lose your vision. Don't lose your focus on yourself. 
don't lose who you are don't stop giving up on your dreams don't ever give up keep doing what you're doing you are going to make an impact on others you will inspire others I've noticed that from being from Chicago to being here, I've changed a lot. I've grown a lot. I'm not the same person that I used to be. I'm very focused. I'm, I have more faith. My faith has grown a lot more. I've been through so much these past couple of years from, you know, a lot of things has happened, but it never stopped me from being who I am, who the true person that I am who I am, who I'm going to be. I stepped out of my comfort zone. I I am somebody strong. I am, you know, a person who has a strong feeling, a strong faith um, in dreams. I am a dreamer. That's what I say. You know, you got to live your life to the fullest. Um, are going to be an example for other people who are going through the same thing. I'm not going to stop for who I am for other people because who I am is making, it's helping them get through whatever they're getting through and they can relate to my story. Um, I went from living in Chicago being a little girl from just who had a dream and had faith that she will be somewhere that she's always dreamed about going through Boston in the worst living conditions and didn't feel like like this wasn't the place for me. And I still went with my gut feeling. Took that big leap of faith and I ended up here. And I'm totally happy, I'm totally blessed. I'm not stressed. I'm going into 2016 happy. I will be doing major projects for 2016 and you guys should look out for me this is not going to be my last video um stay focused stay on top of your game never forget who you are love have faith and let your faith be your demonstration and live your life I'm looking back on my journey my journey is not over and I will continue um, being who I am and uh, continue being this dreamer that turns dreams into reality. I wish you all the best of luck on whatever you're trying to do. I believe that you will succeed and be successful. There's always somebody, make sure also you have somebody that believes in you more than you believe in yourself and I have tons of those um, people that are behind me one step of the way I love you guys I love you guys so much thank you um, thank you to my family and thank you to my best friends and friends um, never regret anything because it teaches you a lot about yourself and then you gain strength you should never get discouraged, even though it may be hard. But remember your dream, remember your vision, remember that you have faith in all that you do, and you will get through this and you will succeed. All right, I'm done. Bye now.